Assalamu alaikum welcome to another informative video and today we will discuss what is the effect of lubricants over disintegration and dissolution disintegration is the process where tablet break down into small fragments and dissolution is the process where tablet dissolve to release the drug both disintegration and dissolution are very critical and in this video we will learn how lubricants affect on both disintegration and dissolution if you want to learn more details of disintegration and factors affecting disintegration the link of video is given in description you can watch the video and can also read the article so let's start our video before going to the details of this topic first of all you must be familiar that lubricants are of two types one is hydrophilic and one is hydro phobic most commonly used lubricant in pharmaceutical industries for tablet manufacturing is magnesium stearate magnesium stearate which is hydrophobic we know that hydrophobic repel the water so we will discuss how this repulsion affect the disintegration and dissolution we know that we add our lubricants at the end of blending process and suppose these are granules when we add lubricants like magnesium stearate it form a layer around the granules and when these granules are compressed to form a tablet we have a strong covering of hydrophobic lubricant around each granules so when this tablet come in contact with water the water will be repelled back and its disintegration time will be prolonged mean if disintegration time required is 5 minute it may be exceeded to the 30 minutes how this will occur basically prolonged disintegration time occur if we use wrong quantity of lubricant and wrong blending time of the lubricant that is why we use always an optimum blending time for the lubricants which is 3 to 5 minutes and we also use a optimum concentration or very low concentration of the lubricants if we increase the mixing time for 15 to 20 minute or we increase the concentration of lubricants the layer form around each granule will be very strong and this strong layer will result in water repulsion and as we discussed earlier our disintegration time will be prolonged when disintegration time is prolonged the dissolution profile is also low and it is the major drawback of the lubricants which is seen in case of hydrophobic lubricants over the tablets when we use wrong blending time and wrong concentration of the lubricants that is why always use the optimum concentration and optimum blending time the alternate way is to use the hydrophilic lubricants and main example of hydrophilic lubricant is the sodium stearyl fumarate but if we go towards the hydrophobic its concentration and its blending time must be optimized and critically checked it was all about the video and if you like the video share it to others and subscribe my channel till the next video allah hafiz